Alright, what's up guys? I'm Halo Phonetic on YouTube and Desk Clock on the Age of Mythology Heaven forums. And I'm here to show you a video guide to this guy's uh, new guide with uh, 3ds Max 2014. You can get it for free if you are a college, you know, university student uh, for three years. And then he made this thing called Abe, which is for editing models and animating them, including the you know attach points and everything. But I'm gonna jump right into it. So, we're gonna start off. You're gonna go on his, you know, I'll have the link and everything in the description. Uh, download all of his pictures, everything that you need, which are this one, the JPEG, which is the uh, 128 by 256, and then the 128 by 128. But this one is a also JPEG in the beginning. You have to save it as a BMP. And then what you're gonna do is get your uh, AOM, you know, ED, I don't even know what that stands for. I know HD mythology, but I don't know what ED is. Anyway, you click direct file conversion, you go on the uh, BMP file, and you do this, converting to DDT. Boom, it says you want to overwrite it, you, well yeah, I already had one, but you're not going to have that option. Then you're going to click 15 bit, 1 bit, alpha, 1, and 5 levels. Conversion finished. Now you're going to take this file, copy it, come over to your textures folder, which is, you know, whatever, uh, age mythology textures, boom, paste it in there, and then, and I've only, only I've only, uh, gone through his tutorial once, but, give me some, a break, now you're going to open up, uh, 3ds Max, this is just the default, you know, look, I like having mine bigger so I can have the perspective huge. You're gonna select this if you don't already have it selected. Move that out of the way. This will, you know, create objects and stuff. And you click teapot. And you're gonna click the plus by keyboard entry and put two in for the radius and click create. Boom! It creates it right there. Now, that size in game is that right there, just so you have an idea. So it's a, it looks a little taller. I haven't looked at it in game. I actually have a problem with the script and I'll show you. Um, but yeah, so. Get the object in here, we're gonna do this. Click uh, the select object button, just make sure it's selected. Then you're gonna right click, convert to editable mesh. You're gonna click the vertex. Then you're gonna go to frame 20 if you're not already there and click auto key. Now you're gonna go in one of your side ports. This is just for a simple, simple animation. You're gonna select the top couple. You'll see it selected in every single window. You're gonna click the move bring it up a little bit just so you can see a difference and then you're gonna deselect that now boom you got a little animation there if you want to see it smoothly um, you know, how do I deselect there we go whatever okay so boom there's your animation click that uh, click the object again make sure it is selected and uh, then you're gonna press M to bring up the material window you're going to double click multi sub object under the materials and standard. This little thing's going to pop up. I'm going to zoom in. Now, in this area right here, double click, so it'll select it. Then you come over here to the window on the right, and it'll say 10 set number. Click set number, and type in 1, because we're only using one texture. If you're using more textures, then you're going to select different ones, you know, more. Now, you're going to um, click none on here. And you're going to select standard. I'm doing this all off of memory. Um, but yeah. Now you're going to come over here. And I believe, yeah, you double click it here. And um, the ambient and diffuse, these are linked. You're going to select and make sure that's all white. And uh, that makes the. Uh, diffuse white as all as well. You're gonna click specular and make sure that is black. Then you're gonna click the color checkbox. I'm going fast because you guys can just pause the video and you know whatever. Then uh, click the plus by maps down here. You're gonna click the none by diffuse color. Select double click bitmap and now you're gonna select the um, the big one, the 128 by 256. There you go. 
Now you're gonna right click the one on the far right and you're gonna go to assign to selection. You're gonna see it turn white like that and you're gonna be like, well that's not the checker box. What you do is right click the middle one then and click show shaded you know things in the viewport and uh, there you go so basically you are set with your textures now you're good to go you could export it right now and you'd have that object in game however you're not gonna have hit points or nothing what you're gonna do now is doesn't matter what frame you're on just make sure auto key is off so it's this is off now you're gonna keep it selected you're gonna come up to max script click run script and wherever you save that Abe thing that's on his uh, the website you're gonna double click that and you're gonna notice this window pop up on this left one you're gonna scroll down double click hit oh where is that hit hit points bar if yeah, double click that it'll place an object right here you don't see that it's selected so you're gonna move this window out of the way click this to select and move you're gonna bring that up to wherever you want the hit points to show up so like that it's gonna be a little bit above there now he our guy he has texture he has materials and he has an attach point that's what the hit point bar is and in the mesh area here you're gonna select has material because yes he has a material and he's animated there you go now you're gonna right click or you're gonna click file and import from max and see this is where I get an error um, wait. Huh. That was a different error than last time. Oh, wait. It's because I don't have it selected. Derp, derp. Yeah, this is the error that I get. So, if you guys know how to fix this, wonderful. I have no idea what to do past this point. This is where I'm at. Um, next on the guide, it does say to... Um, I guess you can you know change it and make it so you can see the player color in 3ds Max. But yeah, file save. Do, 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 do. Yeah. Yep. Hmm. But yeah, that's that's about it. That's pretty much all you gotta do I guess I would do the rest but I have that error if you guys can help me out that'd be great I'm still looking around on Google and asking around on the forums but I'm not having any luck talk to you guys later